Hello, today we are going to solve the question number 40 from ISS 2019 paper 2. In this question, we have to find the minimum variance unbiased estimator of theta squared based on a sample size of n from normal theta comma 1. Okay. So how can we solve this? First of all, we have to check among this given four option, which one of these option or options is or are unbiased estimator for theta squared. So let's check the first option, which is x bar squared minus 1 by n. So first of all, we check the unbiasedness of this estimator. First, we check the unbiasedness of this estimator. Therefore, expectation of x bar square minus 1 by n, we get expectation of x bar square minus 1 by n. Now, expectation of x bar square is nothing but variance of x bar variance of x bar plus expectation squared x bar minus 1 by n now as x follows normal theta comma 1 therefore x bar follows normal theta comma 1 by n therefore variance of x bar is 1 by n and expectation of x bar is theta therefore we get 1 by n plus theta square minus 1 by n which results in theta squared. Therefore, this estimator is a unbiased estimator for estimating theta squared. Therefore, x bar square minus 1 is an unbiased estimator of theta squared. So, it is pretty much obvious that the option B cannot be correct. And the option C and D, as they are the unbiased estimator or uh, un similar to the unbiased estimators to estimate the, uh, the variance portion. But here the variance is 1. Therefore, these C and D also are not correct. Okay. So, it is pretty much obvious then the option A is the correct option. So we write the explanation here. From one, uh, we can say that x bar square plus one by n cannot be an unbiased estimator of theta square, therefore there is no chance that it can be a minimum variance unbiased estimator. Now, the option C, which is sum over xi minus x bar whole square divided by n, this is sigma squared or we can write okay named it as sigma squared so this is this cannot be this cannot be an unbiased estimator of theta squared as theta is the mean of normal distribution and a variance is 1 here therefore 
it is already known to us so there is no need for estimation there is no need for estimation and a square is 1 by n minus 1 sum over xi minus x bar square it is an unbiased estimator of the population variance therefore it also cannot be true in this case so it is pretty much obvious then the option a is the correct one so that's all for today thank you very much